Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Lab to Learn IT. So now that we have uh, our domain controller up and running with Active Directory, DNS, and NTP server services, we need to prepare an environment to install ASXi servers as per our planning document. Uh, as you can see in this document, that we have four ASXi servers uh, for which we need to prepare the management network. Uh, we need to create uh, the reverse lookup zone for the management network in the DNS. And also, we need to create the hosted record for our PFSense firewall for uh, the ESXi servers and uh, for the vCenter servers that we're going to install in a couple of videos from now. So let's get started. So um, in order to connect to a DNS, uh, let me click on start, run, and type DNS mgmt.msc. I have installed the remote tools on my uh, Windows 10 workstation. So that's why I'm able to open the DNS console. Uh, if you want, you can do that also. Otherwise, you can open the DNS from the domain controller uh, by typing the same command. As you can see, I'm able to open the same console on my um, domain controller as well. But uh, since we have a administrator workstation over here, so I prefer to work on my administrator, administrator workstation. So now let's create a reverse lookup zone for our uh, DNS, uh, for our management network subnet mask, subnet ID. So let me select the primary zone to all DNS servers, IPv4 reverse lookup zone, and here I'm going to provide the the network ID, 192.168.1. That's the network ID for our man, uh, management network. Click on Next, and click on Next, and click on Finish. Once uh, the management uh, network, uh, the reverse lookup zone is created, we now need to create the host a record for our ESXi servers as per the, their naming convention. So we are going to follow the plan that we created in our Excel sheet. As you can see that the ESXi1, ESXi1 is going to have an IP address of 192.168.1.11. And similarly, 12, 13, and 14 for other ESXi servers. So I'm going to create the host record in the starkindustries.com zone, we need to right click, click on new hosted record, and then type ESXi-1, and then provide the IP address 192.168.1.11 for ESXi1 server. We make sure uh, that you create, uh, click on create associated pointer record. Uh, it is because of this that we created the reverse lookup zone. Otherwise, we would have got an error if we tried to create the PTR record. So after giving this information, click on Add Host. Now let's create the similar record for the other ESXi servers, like for ESXi-2, for which the IP address is going to be 192.168.1.12. Let's now create it for ESXi Server 3, ESXi-3, and the IP address for this one is going to 192.168.1.13. And for the last one, ESXi-4, the IP address is going to be 192.168.1.14 as per our plan. So let's click on add host so we are done creating the hosted record for our a6i server we also need to we are also going to have a vcenter server in our environment so i'm also going to create a hosted record for the vcenter server so let me i'm going to uh, give it a name vcsa for vcenter appliance and then I'm going to provide it the IP 192.168.1.10, let's say 10, and click on Add Host. And you might have seen that we are accessing our PFSense firewall by typing the IP address uh, 192.168.1.254. Uh, so 
rather than typing the IP address, I'd like to access my pfSense firewall with its host name, which is pfSense.starkindustries.com. So let me go back to the DNS console and create and host a record for our, our pfSense firewall as well. So let me type pfSense and then give it the IP address 192.168.1.254 and click on add. So once we have created the DNS record, we are done from the DNS part. We can go ahead and close this console. Let me close the pfSense login screen web page and then try to open it again and see if we are able to access it using the host record that we have created for it. So I'm typing pfsense.starkindustries.com and yep we are able to access it let me type the password that we provided and let me click on sign in i am going to save it so that you know i don't need to type um, my password manually again and again and i'm also going to bookmark it on my favorite bar so that uh, whenever i need to access it I can just click on my bar, the um, my favorite uh, bar, and click on PFSense, and I'm able to access it. So uh, uh, the DNS configuration is done. Now we need to think about from the network perspective, and we need to create the H6I virtual machine in our next video. So let's uh, uh, meet in the next video. In the meantime, if you like my work and if you think it's valuable, uh, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like and share and thank you so much for your time.